it takes off with Misha in tow. Rin frowns thoughtfully as she looks after the retreating student council duo. How rude. It's true though, I must finish my project that before the weekend, there will be dire consequences if I don't. The end of the world as we know it. Like weekends usually are, but more dire. Much, much, much more dire. Yeah. It's dire of me freaking recording this late at night. Maybe I'll postpone my nap to unforeseen future. Are you gonna go? I guess she's. Uh, she, I bet you she's like that freaking face. She gives power. I'm about to ask what project she has and what are these apocalyptic consequences? But she walks back into the art class room. Since you have nothing to do, would you give me a hand? This paint can, the can doesn't fit into my bag, but I need it. She kicks slightly at a huge can of paint that's lying on the floor next to the table she was sitting and sleeping on. It lets out a dull clang. Why would you kick a paint of can? You don't know if it's open or not. Being the gentleman I am, I naturally pick it up. You're you, heavy. Yeah, sure. Where do you need to take it? Away. With that, she takes off to the hallway, and me and the paint can, following since there's no little choice of us, either of us. The hallway is quiet and empty now, with Shizune and Misha gone, so we two leave towards the stairwell at the other end. Every 10 or 15, 20 steps, I have to change. Oh, I hate that feeling. Change the can from one hand to another because the thin hand cuts my palm. At least, it keeps my arms from tiring too fast. The worst thing is, if you have it in the indents on your fingers, and you're holding it, it hurts more. Rin strolls on beside me with an uneven pace that I have trouble matching, but maybe I am walking weird because of the extra weight. It seems one of us is constantly walking too slow or too fast, but I can't figure out which. Oh, hey look, we're back at the entrance, the lobby, where I got dragged, and I got manhandled, which was very nice. Checkers. Checkers. Two flights of stairs below, trouble appears in the form of head nurse and his fox-like grin. Oh, hey! Ah, Mr. Nakai. What a happy coincidence. Suzuka, too, of course. He knows cur- Curtisu- Cur- I can't even- Courteously to Rin, who does not acknowledge him back, then turns to me, because obviously it's me who he had some business with. There is something I forgot to mention on Monday. I nod and wait passively because I can't even begin to guess what he forgot. The feeling of the hand of the living delving deeper into my skin doesn't make me feel enthusiastic about this interruption. Drop the can! It's about your medications. Since you haven't been that long on your current medications, there might be some unexpected side effects, might, which might require adjusting dosages or even changes to another kind of medication. So we will do a few tests regularly. But I'd want but what I'd want is for you to keep an eye on your, on everything in a condition that feels off, if you get what I mean. Nausea, headache, anything, and come see me if something happens. So if I bomb, actually, I just go over to you and be like, oh, hey, blah. All right. So how are you? Everything fine? I go over and drop the can to the floor before answering him. Apparently, this takes longer than my biceps can handle. I'm about to say something generic as an answer, but then I realize how often I've done that lately. Other people have been asking, asked, have asked me that too. Teachers and students here, my parents, visitors, nurses, doctors, and all at the hospital. Everyone seems to be concerned about that. It's natural for a hospital, not so much for a school. Except for this school. Thank you, Sal. This is a small school, and both the student base and the faculty seem to be very tightly knit. At least that's the feeling I'm getting. I just realized he's winking. That's. He's not, he's not Brock, and this is not the kind of school that gets that gets transfer students too often. The thought sends shivers up my spine, but I give a generic answer anyway. Dot dot dot. Oh, oh no! I did not mean to do that. That's great. Also, one other thing. Get out of here. No Skype. No Skype. Minimize. God dang. Oh no! I didn't get to see that. Oh, go back. What is this? Tell me that you've been at neither the school truck nor even the pool so I'd like to know if you have taken up exercising as I as I asked wait wait of course I haven't what the his way of inquiring 
inquiring gives me the feeling that I should have been running my butt off on the track since the very first day. You have people spying on me? Not as much. I just happen to know a few people, but that's not the issue here, so don't try to sip out of it. Well, I was actually just doing some improvised weightlifting as an exercise. I pick up a lifter can up and down a few times, like some sad imitation of a bodybuilder, even though it's weighing down on my own painfully. The stupid grin disappears from his face for a second, then comes back like it was never gone. Tezuka, would you give us a second? Oh. This grabs me by the shoulder without waiting for Vin's permission, which he didn't need in the first place and drags me aside. When I told you to exercise, exercise, I wasn't joking. I understand that you are still on your first week and all, but please, don't ignore the importance of this. The reason I'm coming down this hard on you is that the habits are not easy to form. That is true. That is really true, actually. The more you slip and the postpone, the harder it will be. It's the same with everything, like dieting. Can you promise me to be more serious about this from now on? Yeah, of course, I don't want to die. Yeah, I promise, definitely. He studies me for a moment, and then he shrugs, smiling again. Okay, that's more like it. If you go to the school track tomorrow morning, you'll meet my spy, who probably has no qualms offering consultation consultation to you if you want to jog a bit. Cons consultation? See you around. Bye, Brock. He leaves with a wave of his hands and no answer, and I walk to Win, who was, has been waiting idly, leaning against the hallway wall and staring at the pale light eating pictures on the ceiling. Yay, ceilings. Even when I approach, she doesn't move her arms off them. Are you getting medications for your heart thingy? Were you listening? It comes out of <laughs> accusatory. Then I attended accidentally latching out at her, on her. But even so, I don't really want to start anything about talking about it. I just matter. I don't know her. It's not her business. The nurse seems to be happily ignorant, ignorant, but confidently too talking about that kind of thing in public, but it's not Ren's fault, is it? I look up at her suddenly feeling a bit guilty, but Ren is just staring past my shoulder, quizzically, her head tilted like a bird's. Huh? Sigh. I don't know why this is so hard for me. It feels like there is some inexplicable lock that prevents me from being more upfront about this. Yeah, they're for my heart. Will they make you better? No. Not really. They just make me a little less worse. Rin keeps looking at me for a while, and then she neither says anything further nor displays any kind of emotion. I could could discern. I'm thankful that she doesn't. I think I'm still not quite used to all this. At the hospital, it was easy, but I I still have been sort of my feelings about having to live a normal life with this disability. Disabilities don't really affect you. I have. I don't, I'm not sure. If Asthma is considered as a disability, but I know it's like it's it's uh, considered health a uh, health warning. Uh, asthma is taken seriously at my school. I'm pretty sure. It, no, I, like we'll see in the valley. There's always like signs saying like, "Oh, if you're having asthma attack, stand up straight, uh, sit up straight, and uh, hold your breath or something like that." It's like take long deep breaths, and if there's nothing really changing after that, then you have to uh, go. Call 911. We leave the main building and Ren leads us onwards towards the dorm. Oh my god, ew, what is that? Hey, this <laughs> that guy looks like a caddy. We stop at the small patch in a green room in front of the dorm building. The dorm is built on solidly elevated ground with a wall and a few trees that anyone has to circle around. Every time they come or go, it's probably the only inconvenient design on the in the school. The entire wall made of the same kind of bricks as the 